Remix has a new feature called Client Data that lets us create client loaders and client actions. So they're just like loaders and actions, except we call them in the client and then defer to you to decide to call the server or not. This enables you to build stuff like client caches. It allows you to migrate from React router apps. Lots, lots of use cases here. I'm going to use it um, to cache this index page because there's a user experience thing that's really irritating me. Notice how when I click one of these and then, oh my gosh, Twilight. Ugh. I didn't realize what I was clicking on. Anyway, when I click back, thank heavens, Twilight is gone. Uh, maybe it is a good user experience. Now, uh, what's annoying is that this list changes every time. And as a user, maybe I want to, maybe I see this list. And I'm like, oh yeah, I want to see this. Maybe it's the, I don't know, top 10 or something, but these ones are all random. Um, so yeah, kind of annoying that every time I click it and then I have to click back and then it's not even what I wanted. Dangerous Nan McGrew? I bet that's amazing. Pre-Code American Comedy. <laughs> anyway, so when I click the back button, I want this to be the same list that it was before. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to export async function client loader. And client loaders get all the same options or uh, parameters like the params and requests and stuff like that as a normal loader, but it also gets a thing called server loader. So this puts you in charge of calling the server if you want to. So I'm going to return um, server loader. I'm just going to call that and we're going to see that no behavior actually changes. So we'll open up the network and we can watch that when I click here and then I click back, you can see it's making a request for to see that whole name a lot more. How do I? Which ones? Is, I gotta like pull these left. I would love to see the code behind the resizing of these. Pull that. Oh, see now it all goes together. It's so weird. Oh, and now I can move that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we can see that it's calling the index, and uh, I don't want to make that request, but we we can see that it's doing the same thing as before. I click back and it's calling that every time and I get a new list every time. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a little cache in memory of what was here so that when I click back, it shows up. Um, so I'm gonna say, here's my cache, just a thing in memory. And then I'm gonna say, if I've got my cache, then return query cache, right? I wanna match what this looks like. My loader data up here is returning query. And so up here, I'm gonna cache data and then I'm gonna say, all right, here's, here's the thing called query. So it's, it's a sharp knife, right? Like sharp knives are great because you can cut really well with them, but you can also cut your finger off. So as soon as you introduce a client loader, you are adding the ability to, um, or you're making it really easy to accidentally like get things out of sync. Um, you gotta start worrying about clearing your own caches. You gotta worry about naming things right. Maybe I should be using TypeScript and it could yell at me if I return different types here, but I'm not. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants today. Um, so if I have the cache, I'll do that. Otherwise, I call the server loader. I'm going to say then, and this is my loader data. Um, and uh, you know what? Why am I doing thens? I'm being weird about this. I don't need to do that. Let's not be weird. Loader data. What? I'm, every now and then, it's like, 2000, when did we start using promises without a wait? 2012? Promises A plus and Bluebird. Every now and then, 2012 Ryan shows up. He was young. Anyway, uh, I got my loader data. And now, uh, remember loader data, we are deferring here. We're deferring that query. So we've got another promise sitting here that we need to resolve. So now we're going to await loader data dot query because that's a promise that came over the network. I'm going to say, this is my, this is my data. Actually, I could call it my query because that's what we're calling it everywhere else. We're calling a query here and here and here. And then I will say, cache, you are this query. All of my kids have a friend named cache. All three of my kids have a friend named cache. So when I, anyway, I'm on so many tangents today. Uh, all right. And now I'll return the query. So, 
If we have a cat, you know what? Some people hate doing a post-fix return like that, but I'm doing it. So if we have a cache, return it. Otherwise, call the server loader, await the deferred query, set the cache in memory, return it. So um, we're going to have a bug here. It's going to half work. So don't be too upset when you're like, hey, it doesn't look like it's working. We'll fix it. Because I want to explain a little nuance here. So check this out. So now I got my new code. I'm going to click once, click back. Hey, I thought you said we wouldn't make this request. Ignore that for a second. Now I'm going to click forward again. Now I'm going to click back. <gasps> no request. Look, every time I click on one of these and I click back, it gives me exactly what I had before. Really cool. Okay, so why on this first one, right? It's only the first one. I click deadly friend and then I click back. Why is it making that request? Well, Remix, it's, it's, there, there's a lot of use cases for client loader, and so we had to come up with a little bit of configuration here. Remix will not call your client loader on an initial document request. Because sometimes people want to use client loaders just to SSR some stuff. Or so they, sorry, sometimes people want to use SSR for their initial loader, so it runs on the server, and then from there they just want the client loader to do its thing. And so you don't, we don't need to call both of them. But if you are caching or creating a set of data that uses both client and server data, um, we have this little thing in here, a little bit of configuration on client loader. We say hydrate true. So what this says is for an initial document, I haven't saved the file, so we're not going to see the behavior yet. But right here, this is, this is an initial document, and Remix stores, it's really gross, um, Remix stores that loader data in, um, yeah, where is it? That's all of our live reload stuff. Um, yeah, right here, Remix context. We store a bunch of loader data and stuff in here. Bleh, all this junk instead of calling the server um, on the initial document. So it's sitting there in the HTML, and that's what we give uh, for hydration. Um, and we don't call the client loader. But if you say client loader hydrate true, then we say, all right, cool. Uh, we called the loader on the server, and we sent it down and put it in the gross stuff down here, the script tag. Or I guess it was, I don't know which one it was. Who cares which one it was? Uh, so we put it in that gross script tag. And now we're going to call your client loader. And when you say server loader, it's actually kind of a trick. We don't go call the server. We just give you that gunk that's already in the document. We say, hey, yeah, here it is. Uh, and so now your client loader can participate in hydration. And that's important when you have, uh, when you're trying to cache your, your loader data. So now if I save this, the hiccups, man. So I've saved my loader data. Let's reload. Here we go. Click the first one. Spirit of 76, huh? Look at that guy. Look at those pants. <laughs> oh, this is 1990. This seemed like more like a 70s. Oh, when we got people in the back doing a YMCA dance. Oh, the Spirit of 76. Ah, made in the 90s, about 76. Okay. These videos are hard. I'm so distracted by the movies. So what are we waiting for? We're waiting for me to click the back button after a document request. The client loader participated in hydration, so my cache should, should be set. I click the back button. <gasps> Look at that. No request. So now, as a user... This is another thin man. Um, this is great because now I can go through all of these one by one and I don't get a new list. Client loader. Kind of cool stuff.